Hey, it is Randy Miles, and as I have been promising, I have Pastor William McDowell from Deeper Fellowship Church in Orlando on the phone with me. How are you? I am doing amazing, especially since I'm talking with you. You know, it's been a very, very long time. Last time I actually saw you is when you wrote the book, um, and now you have another project out. A lot of stuff has gone on. So let's do a little catch up, okay? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Now, the first time that I met you, we were in Philadelphia for this conference and yes. I walked into what they had was the green room and you're standing in the back, very unassuming, and I'm thinking, "Wow, that's William McDowell." And I think withholding <laughs> nothing was out then. Okay, wow. Yeah. And, and you know, you just seemed to be very shy, but when I walked up to you, I was like, "Oh, I could feel exactly who you were in God just by meeting you that very first time. Wow. Wow. That's quite a statement. (laughs) It is amazing. You know, we all go through our things and, you know, things that make us feel we are not who we're all called to be, but I knew in that moment. And so I'm really grateful to be able to talk to you. How is the church doing under the circumstances that we're living in right now? You know, to be honest with you, the church is doing well, especially considering, um, you know, our church, we've experienced, you know, prior to all of this, you know, quite an outpouring, Mm -hmm. uh, a move of God that really led to the writing of the book that we wrote. But we weren't online uh, prior to this moment. And really, um, I happened to be in South Africa uh, at the time. The whole world seemed to go crazy. And I, I remember flying back on an emergency flight or sudden flight to get back to the U.S. before, you know, borders closed and things of that nature. And and really spending time with God, you know, to get his heart and understanding and all of this. And we in, actually ended up going online and we've been meeting online ever since. Mm. But I know that while all the church statistics and all the things talk about how online engagement is decreasing and giving is decreasing and things like that, the the online engagement for us has increased as well as the giving. Um, And it's been, you know, obviously tough for everybody. We live in Orlando, uh, and so our economy is drastically affected. Uh, I know Disney laid off 28,000 workers a couple of weeks ago, and so it, it affects, you know, the economy you know, our, our people um, and things like that. But um, thanks be to God, our, our church hasn't actually lost anyone mm. uh, to COVID, although we've had, you know, a few cases. We haven't lost anyone to COVID. And, but I do know that it's difficult for people around this country yeah. and around the world, but the church has been doing well. And your family? My family is doing wonderfully. Um, it's obviously like every parent, I have five children. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, like every parent, you know, that the challenges of, of homeschooling and virtual schooling are very, very real yeah. and they affect <laughs> us as well. <laughs> uh, but I will say this, you know, as someone who traveled extensively for more than a decade, my kids are really enjoying the fact that daddy's home all the time. Yeah. And I'm seeing an appreciable difference in them as a result of me being here. That's fantastic. Well, you know, we have to find that silver lining. I think a lot of people are finding that out. You have a project called The Cry. It's live worship. And uh, you've had a few singles from there, but there's a brand new single released from there that I want to talk about. Um, it's called yeah. Finished Work. Give me a little background about Finished Work. Finished Work is quite a declaration uh, theologically and spiritually from the standpoint that there's a reality that we live in, which is the fact that the Scripture talks about in Hebrews 11, that the things which are visible were made from the things which are invisible or not seen, uh, which is to say that the invisible world is actually more real than the visible world. And to that end, there's another truth that's connected to that, which is the fact that when we pray, God is not creating answers. He's releasing them. Mm. Everything that we're praying about in the future has actually already been accomplished on the cross of Christ, which means that what we're praying for in the future has taken place in the past because it's a finished work. So really what we're doing is we are walking into finished work that have already been accomplished. So it's a declaration of faith that every time we are believing God for healing, we were already healed. Every time we're believing God for breakthrough, it already happened. Every time we're believing God for freedom, it already happened. So we don't have to live in the lie or the illusion that the enemy puts in front of us 
to cause us to believe that we're trying to get God to do anything. It's already done. Can we talk about the finished works, y'all? Can we talk about the finished works of Christ? I want y'all to hear this. I want y'all to hear this and get into your spirit. Come on. the phone with Pastor William McDowell and every time I talk to you I get a new revelation from God and I truly truly appreciate it and you're doing something really special um I noticed on your Instagram page yeah. where you're covering the earth it's a global worship and intercession encounter let us know about that cover the earth is um, something the Lord showed me uh, in a time of prayer. We are gathering together worship leaders and pastors from six different continents mm. uh, on earth to come together for a time of prayer, uh, intercession, and being immersed in the presence of God in conversation about what the Lord is doing. And it is a multi-ethnic, multinational, multi-generational thing. Probably one of the most diverse cross-sections of gatherings yeah. of worshipers and pastors I'm aware of, um, but we have people from everywhere. So, I mean, people that you would recognize from C.C. Winans and Tasha Cobb and Travis Green to Darlene Chet to uh, Sinat from Nigeria. or wow. I mean, there's people from everywhere, people from Brazil, people from Australia, New Zealand, Planet Shakers, Elevation Worship, the whole deal. Everyone's coming together under the same banner to spend time in prayer and mm-hmm. worship and talking about what God is doing globally. Man, I look at it and I listen to you and I get chills thinking about that. And uh, I want people to check that out and your new project. How do they find you, Pastor William McDowell? Well, first of all, let me say this one part that I did not say about Cover the Earth. Cover the Earth is happening on the 24th, which is Saturday, and it is free to everyone on YouTube. So my YouTube channel, our church's YouTube channel, Deeper Fellowship Church. And of course, uh, if you're following me on any of the socials, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, we're all there. Make sure it's with the blue verified check mark so you don't follow a fake. Or you can catch us on YouTube, Deeper Fellowship Church, or our church website, deeperfellowshipchurch.org. Absolutely. I've had an opportunity to uh, attend your church services virtually from time to time, and I truly appreciate it. Pastor William McDowell, thank you so much. You know I love you. You know I love you too.